All right, so I am hoping that this clutch, which is clutch 21, is the one that hits a visual clown pied for me. If you watched the last video, I had 10 eggs, and I was supposed to have a 25% chance to hit a clown pied, and I hit a big fat zero. And actually, um, I can show you some of these guys here that I already ate. There's a really cool one there. There's a couple cool ones here. And these are all going to be available. They're all 66% at clown. And obviously they are obviously all visual pieds. And this one has a really sweet paradox there. There are actually five males and five females. So most likely I'm probably going to be selling them to people in in pairs. Uh, but they're beautiful snakes. They have a lot of genes going on. A lot of super pastels, leopard yellow belly, um, and orange dream. But let's get to this clutch. It is seven eggs. It was the same male that produced that clutch, which is an ODYB leopard pastel pied. Het clown, bred to a pastel leopard clown, 100% het plied. Uh, also super leopard, uh, possible super leopard in the female. I think she is because she's super dark. Um, so again, I believe it's a 25% chance in this one as well to hit something good. So um, let's dive right into cutting these eggs. All right, so I think, again, on this, there's a 25% chance. Um, I'm doing my math right. So I should hit one or two clown pieds. I'm really hoping for females so that I have a couple more here so I don't have to buy any. And I'm gonna have a ton of, uh, you know, visual recessives that are het for the other. I just need more double visuals. So, let's see what we can get in this clutch. Can't tell on this one. Looks like a pretty snake. But I, judging by the colors on it, I'd be kind of surprised if it wasn't uh, clown pied. But I have no idea. It's very light, a lot more light than normal. I can't see a head at all. And I don't want to disturb it too much. So I'll put that back in there. So that's it inconclusive it's not how i like to start off the egg cutting but hopefully let's go with the other small one here hopefully we get some more good luck here i really i hope i crush the odds in this one um i really like to see what a super a super leopard clown pied would look like especially if it had some of those other genetics in there it's really looking for some some bangers i could even use a male that has a bunch of genetics in them too because my only clown pied male, that's double visual, super OD, yellow belly fire. Nope, just a pied. But this proves out that the female is at pied. So um, that at least lets me know that I can hit clown pieds here. Um, I was kind of curious with the last clutch because I didn't hit any clowns at all. Um, that maybe the person that sold me the snake sold me a lemon, um, but I believe he had purchased it from a reputable breeder. So I'm hoping that there wasn't, you know, any foul play going on. But sometimes you wonder when uh, you have. I guess sometimes you just have really good odds, and sometimes you have really bad odds, and hopefully. I just hit bad odds in that clutch. Well, this one has that same kind of coloration. It's very, very pale. Again, I can't see the head in there very well. So again, kind of inconclusive. That's a very pale, very pale snake. Not getting a whole lot of luck here. I'm cutting these eggs and actually being able to see inside of them. I really like it if one of them was just sitting at the top, it's kind of waiting for me, showing me the head stamp. I can't even see the head on this snake. Judging by the pattern, I would say it's probably not a clown pie, the little bit that I can see. So I think I might be striking out in this clutch too. I mean, at least I proved out that there's pies, or that the female is pied, head pied. Um, so that's good. I can at least verify that. But you would think, and if I'm hitting all these pieds in here, it looks like I actually hit four of these were actually pied. You would think that if I'm hitting all these pieds, that 
one of them turns out to be a uh, clown pied. But I guess I had the same amount of odds to hit. So I have 20, I think the way I'm thinking it is that there's a 25% chance for a double hit, 25 for a pied, 25 for a visual clown, and 25 for a double visual. So um, technically not hitting really any of the combinations is all, is all equal. This snake is very white, so and it's, a, it's definitely a pied. And the head must be buried underneath. If you can see this here, but basically it's just all white in there and a lot of veins. So again, inconclusive. It's gonna be very riveting, rivet, riveting egg cutting. There's not a whole lot to see in here. Save the best for, I'm gonna save the most dimpled one for last. Maybe that's the lucky one. Hopefully one of these turns out to be one of the ones I can't see turns out to be a clown pied. Wow, what are the odds that I cut all these open and I can't see a single single snake in there? Look at that, nothing. Can't see anything. Well, I don't think... I think this is just my double hat. It's a cool looking double hat, but I think it's just a double hat. I think it's just a double hat. Definitely leopard in there, which would explain the... if it was super leopard. Definitely just a double hit though. I think that's the only snake in here that is potentially not a pied, which is crazy odds in terms of the pied. So if I had six pieds in here, I would assume that one of them needs to be clown. Or again, I'm just hitting the absolute worst odds with clown pites this year. It's just not, not meant to be. So, oh man. Um, maybe it's just not meant to be. Maybe I'm not supposed to make clown pites this year. Um, I still have one in the incubator. Um, that's another pied head clown to pied head clown. That's due to hatch next month. I'm still pairing up a male or two, trying to hit some more. Um, so there's still potential um, and I'm not sure that maybe one or two of these isn't, um, you know, a clown pied. So we'll have to get updates for that. But let's keep our fingers crossed and hopefully one or two of them are. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you next time.